everybody, it's Stuart A. Swerdlow. And Janet Diane Moria Swerdlow. And this is the Expansions News Podcast for the second week in January 2017. And I am hot off the plane. I know, so... And I am hot. Well, that's what the flight attendant said. That's scary, I'm sorry. I know. She was in love with me. She kept giving me red wine and everything. Yeah. Well, I don't want to say that she was like 80 and cataracts. No. She's younger than you. That's what I said, like 80. It's like everybody's younger than you, right? Yeah. You're like 78, 79. That's whatever. what I said, 80. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Close like that. Well, actually, I don't have any news because I just got here. Yeah, I know. So I'm going to tell you what I know, and then you, I know you've been watching the news while you were gone, so if you have any Especially interesting... Especially because I was stuck in my room because it was a freaking blizzard. Well, it seems... Interesting to me that the snow happens to follow you wherever you go. Snow, earthquakes, and volcanoes. People, do you want me to come to your area? Yeah. No, stay where you belong. Where is that? I don't know. Neither do I. Speaking of that, yeah. how about Russia? Okay. Apparently, did you hear this, that Putin ordered a hacking campaign to harm Hillary Clinton, and this was supposedly... Given that in a report from the Office of the Director of National Intelligence. Oh, because I believe that. And the report says, quote, We assess Russian President Vladimir Putin ordered an influence campaign in 2016 aimed at the U.S. presidential election. Russia's goals were to undermine public faith in the U.S. democratic process, denigrate Secretary There already Clinton, is no faith in that process. And harm her electability and potential presidency. Putin and the Russian government developed a clear preference for President-elect Trump. And then it went on to say... Everyone has a preference for him. Putin and the Russian government aspired to help President-elect Trump's election chances when, possibly, when possible by discrediting Secretary Clinton and publicly contrasting her unfavorably to him. High-level U.S. intelligence officials said in a statement okay, earlier... Can I translate? Mm -hmm. uh, we told the truth about Clinton and she didn't like it. Well, what's interesting then, on um, Fox News, Megan Kelly asked former oh, House Intelligence Committee Chairman Pete Hextra whether he accepted the conclusion by these 17 intelligence agencies. The word intelligence shouldn't be in there. And Hextra said that the declassified report represents the views of only three intelligence agencies, not 17. And then he questioned why <laughs> the because Department of <laughs> Homeland Security and the Defense Intelligence Agency did not co-author or clear the report and uh -huh. why it lacked dissenting views. Because it's a bunch of crap, that's why. Why? Because it's a made-up story. So why do they want to put this out here for people? Because everything on the news is a made-up story. Well, that's they're getting people very confused these because, days. Because here's the thing. What? Do you think the United States doesn't do that to other countries? Well, it's all, they're all, like I always tell you, they're all in bed together anyway. It doesn't really matter. I mean, it's all a show. So whatever they're doing to make you think they they're doing... They all get so dignant and high, that, and they do it to everybody else. Well, because it's part of the show. And well, then, I don't like that show. No, that's what, that's what the show is. And then what was interesting to me is because people are still so pumped up about the Trump election and that Hillary and all this, so they're keeping all this going. Well, apparently, <coughs> and unfortunately, six people wound up dead after a truck, after a truck collided with anti-Trump protesters on a freeway in Seattle. Did you read about that's that your, while you were gone? That's country. I know, and that's why it got, one reason why it caught my attention. Mm -hmm. But apparently a group of about... Uh, oh, I didn't see that. Yeah, 16 motorists drove their cars on I-94, uh, or I-5, and then they stopped, and they all got out, and they linked arms, and in the middle of the, the interstate, in the middle of the interstate, so therefore it jammed up traffic, and That's, then they, yeah, see, yeah, yeah, and then they got back in their cars, I guess, and kind of moved their cars to the side and let people go, and then they did the same thing, well, apparently a, a truck was barreling down the interstate, and by the time he saw them, it was too late. And he rammed into them. So, I mean, this is stupid things. You don't go stand in the middle of an interstate. Well, you know who that reminds me of? Who? Someone we know who was dancing on a freeway in Arizona. Oh. I was wondering why the helicopters were circling overhead. Yeah, that's enough of that. I didn't say who it was. Well, I know. We don't want to say. Anyway, I just <laughs> thought that was really a silly thing. Mm. And then, have you heard of the Trumpets dot global? No. Trumpet. Trumpet. A trumpet. That's not a trumpet that you play. No, this is a trumpet. Mm -hmm. So anyway, apparently now that uh, this is a group of I don't know if it's females or not, although that the pictures are all females, but they said that they have already invested over a thousand man hours of development time. So it has to be, but 
if they're women, you know, that's a big thing. Mm. They said they've had two million. Maybe one of them is named Caitlin. Two million views or people involved since January first on 2016 when in 2016 when they first started mm -hmm. in social media, and their goal is to support Trump, and so they're apparently organizing a massive grassroots volunteer army mm. to assist the campaign and then make America great. This so, is after he's president. Apparently they're going to continue it on. It says they've got members from numerous America First groups mm -hmm. and many more American Values organizations. Mm -hmm. So anyway, if you want to become a Trumpette, mm -hmm. then you have an opportunity in all 50 Are states to do so. I don't think I'm... They would probably wouldn't take me. Well, they certainly wouldn't take me. Yeah, I don't know. But anyway... I'm just not shaving my legs. No? No. How about when you shave those words into your beard? That is a secret. Well, anyway, I thought that was really silly. But, you know, this reminds me of all the Hitler stuff, the Hitler Youth Corps and this kind of corps mm -hmm. and that kind of corps, so we'll see. Yeah. Then, I'm sure you read or heard about the shooting in the Fort Lauderdale yes. airport. Yes. Was that the same airport we were at? Yes. Oh, okay, that's scary. Anyway, the, the shooting suspect, Esteban Santiago, said he heard voices. And he was being treated in Alaska after he complained of hearing voices and had recently claimed to the FBI that the CIA was forcing him to watch ISIS videos. Oh, really? Yeah, that's what I he said. I know that he, he had, the voices told him to join ISIS, that's what he said. Well, he said that he was watching ISIS videos. And uh, but the interesting thing was, after he shot his victims at random, he ran out of bullets, he got on the ground and waited for yeah, the police. Yeah, but, but, but you know... First of all, mm -hmm. he told the FBI that he was under mind control. He said the this, words. Yeah, this article didn't say that, but. And and he shot thirteen people. Okay. So you can't make that up. Right. Well, anyway, so whatever is going on there, they're talking more and more about mind control and what's going on. Even in the movies, we just watched this. Uh, what was it Jason Bourne? Yeah, I like I like that. Movie. And he was about mind control. So mm -hmm. I mean, they're talking about more and more of this all mm -hmm. the time. Mm -hmm. To make that make you aware that this is what's happening in our society, they're not hiding it. Yeah, but I also find uh, curious that uh, he killed five of those thirteen people, mm -hmm. and they only released the names of two of the people, and they don't give any other information mm -hmm. on the three other three that died. Some, and didn't we hear that maybe there were more than one shooter? Yes, but the uh, authority said that that was not true. Yeah, but it seems like a lot of these shootings we hear that that there are more than Call, one shooter. Every one of them. And uh, then the next thing we know, there's only one shooter, so, mm -hmm. I don't know. But then they think it's odd, I mean, he goes to check in at the airport, all he's checking in is a gun case, not clothes, not nothing. Didn't they think that's kind of odd? That's what happened? Yeah. Uh, I would think that would be odd. Yeah. Especially in Florida. I mean, it's not like well, he's... they checked it in an anchorage. Oh. Oh, and he was going to Florida with only yeah. a gun case. Yeah. Yes. Now, that would Does be that odd. Does that make sense? That uh, would be odd. He had to have some kind of clothes somewhere. Yeah, so, I mean, the, I think they need to look at all of this as kind of like a... They were letting it through. Yeah, it sounds that way. Well, anyway, we always talk about how they change history in front of you know your <clears throat> noses. Mm -hmm. Well, now they're actually changing your physiology. Oh, how, what now? They're claiming that they have found a new organ hiding in your abdomen. <gasps> no wonder I'm gaining weight. Anyway, it says that Irish researchers have confirmed that me, that the mesentery, which is a fold of membrane that can uh, connects the intestine to the abdomen is its own continuous organ and not a series of fragmented parts. So the discovery could create a new field of mesenteric science, science and help doctors understand and treat abdominal conditions. So that you could actually go to the mesenterologist? I guess so, because they're going to start... Because you have mesenteritis? Maybe, and then they've even already added it to the Gray's Anatomy um, medical textbook. They did? Yes, they did. This is a whole huh. new organ. So now we have to figure out a mind pattern for that, don't we? Oh. Yeah. Those bastards. Yeah, they knew. Yeah, they are self they're sabotaging us. After I just finished that damn book. Oh, well, it's in the process. And then I don't know if you saw this one either. This one's been going all over, but it's a nine minute navy video that was released by the Chilean Navy of I UFOs. I didn't know that Chile had a navy. Yeah. They have a big coast. Yes, but there's no one on the other side. Yeah, but they do have a big coast. Anyway, it says that this um, incident, which happened November 11th, 2014, has been studied for the last couple of years. Yes. And uh, they decided that... What was it? Well, let me... I'll quote the general Ricardo mm -hmm. Bermudez, who's the director mm -hmm. 
of uh, this organization. He says, quote, we do not know what it was, but we do know what it was not. That's brilliant. And what it is not comprises a long list of conventional explanations. Well, that settles the whole thing. But they released all of this, all this video now to the. But what was it? Well, they just they don't know. If you look, go there. It's a lengthy article with a lot of pictures and videos mm -hmm. and whatnot. If you go there, you'll see. But they tell you what that they know that it, what it's not. So I thought that was interesting. And then the new craze, the latest beauty craze, is a freckle tattoo. I was going to surprise you with mine. I hope not. I don't like tattoos. Anyway, so what happens? You go to these tattoo people. And they find oh, out where your freckle. normal things are, and the then they, things. well, if you have freckles, I guess, uh -huh. and then they, like, tattoo, I guess, or you can do them in all well, the I thought I thought you said they actually just put a freckle on you. Well, the, the idea is, is they look at your natural freckle line, uh -huh. and then they make it, like, bigger and better. So what do redheaded people do when they have all these freckles on their face? What are they well, do I guess they choose the pattern that they like. And then the thing is, if you go on, to me they look like a dog. You know, you know how dogs have all these hairs and stuff. So, but, but anyway, that's Are you your thing. At me? But that's what I'm telling you that that's your latest thing. And then mm -hmm. moving right along, this was interesting to me because you know all this transgender stuff is in the news, and of course it's not going away. And I was reading an article, and I started reading, and then I got confused because it was talking about oh, that's Alex. Easy for you. I know Alex befriended a trans woman. Who told Ooh. Alex? Who's he? I don't know. Befriended a trans woman who told them that if we could survive this, we were probably set for life. And I thought, well, who's we? And mm -hmm. then it says many relationships fall apart when a partner comes out as trans, even if their sexual attraction to their cisgender partner is the same as ever. And I know we'd heard that word before, cisgender, right? Well, I, I don't understand. Well, I didn't either. So then, then she goes on and says, Alex and I now live together, and we're planning to get married soon. Neither of us will exchange last names. Alex doesn't even know if they want to change their first name yet. Their first name? Their first name. And our wedding will be performed heteronormatively for the sake of our families. It was like I was so lost in this article. Is that so, like a polar vortex? You know, when all these things come out, I try to do, do a little bit of research what, what, to see what, what I'm missing. Heteronormatively? Yeah. Heteronormatively. Who made that up? I don't know. But anyway, so so that this kind of is what's... This is kind of the intro to what I'm going to tell you next. Can you make a sentence with that? Well, none of it makes sense, and it didn't make sense to me. So I kind of put on the back burner and thought, when I have a chance. Well, then but I'm somewhat confused. Is Alex a man or a woman? I don't know. And that's the issue, is you're supposed to be confused, okay? Well, I am. Okay, so stay confused while I try to sort this out in the next part of my article. Okay. Okay, or my report, actually. It's a different article. Apparently, there's a new book on gender that is being funded by the government in Britain. It's oh, going Britain. In, it's going to go into Britain British primary schools. Of course it is. It's, and it's designed uh, for children seven and up. Can I tell you about gender diversity? Yeah, a seven-year-old would understand that, sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So anyway, um, it's told from the point of view of a child unhappy with their gender. Uh -huh. The book challenges children as young as seven to think about and challenge their biology. That's terrible. The, the book's subject is a 12-year-old uh -huh. transitioning from female to male. This female to male uses puberty-blocking drugs to undergo a sex change. This is for a 12-year-old. A, a doctor is willing to do this? The, according to this... So they should be... They should be Ex altered. I'm sorry. They should, they should be altered. So, so when they're starting to teach them at seven, so that they can learn to question their biology. Is the Queen's grandchildren going to learn this too? I'm sure, so that they can hold, lord it over their subjects. Mm -hmm. So the book explains medical transitioning for children age seven and above. And the, Anyway, so this uh, female who's changing into a male, his name's Kit, starts wearing boys' clothes. Kit. Listen, now this is where we can start to unravel the first story I told you. Okay, he changes his pronouns and talks about undergoing surgery to change his biological anatomy. This is a 12-year-old. His friends include a gender-fluid student who goes by they. So apparently if you're gender-fluid, you're not a he or a she, you're, you're a they, they. But that means it's plural. I know. Because you know why? Wow. Multiple personalities. Uh, ding dong, that's right. You call me a ding dong. And someone who uses the XE pronoun. Now, I, I don't even know how to say that. We, Je. Well, before we talked about the ZE. Je. Repeat them, Je. 
Before we talked about the ZE, now this is an XE pronoun. This is in Britain for children it's seven Britain. years old. It's Britain. Should we even pay attention to it? The book recommends against using any sort of language that suggests there are only two genders. So words like boys and girls, ladies and gents, are, are bad now. So you can get arrested for saying that. Pretty soon. So now they want you to... It's called they, they, uh, they... So ladies and gentlemen, just they. No, because they now is only for one person. I, oh. don't, I don't know when you have a lot, a lot of people. They's. Maybe. But there, the book argues that recognizing gender as a binary. Now, this word's also being thrown around a lot is binary, <coughs> binary, which to me sounds like a computer. It is. So, but it's binary. Subtly reinforces that gender is a significant difference about behavior patterns, meaning it's problematic to tell someone to act like a boy or a girl. So you can't say... It's problematic. Yeah, you can't say, like, act like a lady, act like a young gentleman. Act like a young lady. And then, now, this is seven. They're teaching them terms such as panromantic. I don't know what that means. Panromantic? No, romantic. not romantic. Romantic. Pan -rom what the hell is that? You I don't know. Work your pancreas or something. I don't know. Panromantic. And then gender queer, And it identifies heterosexual males and females as cisgender. Why? I don't know, but that's what now the... Who the, made this up? This person. And then the British government is funding it. That's why Britain is lost the whole freaking empire. Because they're so effed up. Okay, now we move into higher, supposedly higher education. The University of Sussex. Is oh, the, it has the word sex in it. Yeah, maybe that's why. It shouldn't potty mouth. It has become the first higher educational establishment in Britain to adopt mandatory gender-inclusive language. So now, this is again explaining that very first story I told you. It says, the union insists that students must not make assumptions about anyone's gender identity, but they must instead use gender-neutral language, such as they and them, instead of he and her. But that's plural. I know. So according to, this is the student union at the University of Sussex. The gender-neutral pronoun they should be used as opposed to he and she and the pronoun them as opposed to him or her. Individuals whose gender identities are not known should not be described as men or women. And it should be used such inclusive terms as person. What if we just call them thing? Not that maybe that's what they're trying to turn them into. Remember Adam's family thing? Yeah. It says the, un the decree must also be well, obeyed. It. The decree must also be obeyed by the university's media, and general neutral language must be used by all student media. When conducting interviews, mm -hmm. an individual's gender must not be assumed and general neutral language should be used if pronouns are not known. Uh -huh. Now, moving to the U.S., Kansas University libraries now offer students, staff, and visitors the choice of wearing gender-inclusive buttons. What does that mean? So they want to promote a welcoming environment on the campus. So now when you go into the library, you can get a button, and one says he, him, his. I'll get out of here. One says she, her, hers. Are you serious? And one says they, them, theirs. And you have to wear this. Well, you, you have a choice in Kansas still, apparently. I think we're not in Kansas anymore. <coughs> and the, the, the Kansas library's uh, theme is called You Belong Here. So they want the tour to be you know warm what? and welcoming I'm offended by the word you. Well, how about it should be something else. They, them, theirs. Something else. So anyway, because gender itself is fluid and up to the individual. So apparently it's no longer something that's determined by biology. It's fluid, uh, really? and it's up to the individual, so therefore each person has the right to identify their own pronouns, and we encourage you to ask before assuming someone's gender. So my pronoun shall be called emperor. That's what I figured. And then we also have the University of Vermont, <coughs> which is offering gender oh, name... Oh, there's a big brainiac center. Gender name tags Vermont. with... Let's make some cheese. Name tags with preferred pronouns. Vermont doesn't make cheese. They make, yes, they do. They make maple syrup. Whatever. And the University of Michigan is allowing students to register for classes by adding a pronoun of their choosing. Not Michigan. I know. It's not horrible. And I don't so, know if that I'm means... I'm so ashamed. I don't know if that means he just he or she, if it means the Z-E Z and the X-E and the them, they, theirs. Wait, I don't so know. the X-E and the Z-E are different. I don't know. So how do you know what to use? So I if I'm know. learning English, right. I could never learn English. Well, yes. You, they make it easy. It's just they, them, or theirs. Because I... Speaking of it, and I can't I wouldn't this. say about, like, if I was talking about Joe, I wouldn't say he wants this. I now say they want this. But there's only one. But this is, doesn't matter if they're calling them yeah, they, them, theirs. That's incorrect to English. It's like mind control programming crap. No, but it's, I, 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 I absolutely don't believe this will happen. It's happening. That's what I'm telling you. 
It's been instituted. This isn't. This is what's happening in our world. It's then you know what? It's time to leave the planet because these humans are useless. Well, people need to refuse to use this and do this because this is ridiculous, right? It's just ridiculous. But no, th these are things that they have already been adopted. They're doing, and if you don't follow it, then you get I'm not fined following. and arrested. I am not going to follow it. So I say, well, I wouldn't you say. You know what? Then it'll go over in Russia. I say, Stuart likes. I said, Stuart likes meat. They would. I would have to say they like meat. Then how would you know what you're talking about? That's the point. It gets everybody so confused. They don't know who they're talking about or what you are. It's ridiculous. I agree. It's not ridiculous. It's. Moronic. It's, yes, I agree with you. It's beyond, I don't even know bad words to say. I agree. And I don't often agree in that kind of things, but I agree. Wow, well, thank you. So, and my last story kind of goes on the heels of what you talked about last time. What? Do you remember about Zsa Zsa Gabor? Of course, Zsa Zsa. And do you remember what they did with her ashes? They put them in a doggy bag. It wasn't a gold doggy bag or something? Doesn't matter. You think Zsa Zsa okay, she's in a doggy bag, darling. Okay, well, do you remember Carrie Fisher passed away? <coughs> yes. Debbie Reynolds' daughter? Yes. You guess what they put her ashes in? Don't even tell me. Do you a know? A space suit? No. A Star Wars coffee cup? Not even close. What? A Prozac pill. Oh, stop it. No, seriously. I don't believe that story. A giant, Carrie Fisher's giant Prozac pill urn. What? Yeah. That's not a true story. It is. Her brother verified it. They said that she, her favorite possession, now, is this, was this Prozac? Answer, was a giant Prozac pill that she brought, bought many years ago. A big pill. She loved it. It was in her house and Billy, her daughter, and I thought that was where she'd want to be. I think that she would kill them if she could come back to life. But that's true. So don't you think it's interesting that a what celebrity... What did they put uh, Debbie Reynolds in? They didn't say. In uh, fact, an umbrella they, for dancing in the rain? They said that they were also going to mix some of their ashes together, so I don't know. Oh my God. But isn't what it is interesting... What is happening to this planet? That Jolly Jacobor went into a gold doggy bag. This one's going into a giant Prozac yeah, but these pill. people didn't want that. I'm just telling you that this world is crazy. No, it's beyond crazy. It's useless. It's just absolutely No amazing. wonder the aliens are doing what they're doing. So I don't blame them. So listen to me. If you want to put something real life into your life, come to our January class. Because we well, are not going to talk I, about, to you about this. I thing. found where I want my body to go after. Because you may remember when I was in Novosibirsk. Yeah. They actually have a crematorium museum. Uh-huh. And they had a gigantic... Stolichnaya bottle coffin. And I said, that's mine. They're saving it for me, you know. Anyway, come to our January class. Because we just have a, you just have a couple of days to sign up and we have about one or two spaces left. Yes. So. No, so they have to sign up. Okay? Je, ze, him, she, what. Whatever you whatever. are. Yeah, whatever you and are. And if you want, we'll give you a little button to wear. Yeah. And you can just say, I'm a person. So like, actually blank and fill it in yourself. Yeah, if you want. That mm -hmm. makes you happy. Yeah. So my January class is around the corner. It happens once a year, one or two spaces. If you want it, come get it. If not, sorry, you're going to be out of luck until another year. Mm -hmm. And I also wanted to address something that people have been asking more than once. What? They want to know what we use on our face to keep us looking so youthful and beautiful. I wake up like this. I know. I can't even so help it. So, we'd actually sell this on the site. This is Olive Gold 03. And this is just oxygenated olive oil. Yes. Mm -hmm. And what do you do with it? We we'll put it on our face. Yeah. And it's also a topping for cake and ice cream. Yeah. You can do that if you wanted. And we have a little travel size. Mm -hmm. And then the other thing that this, there's a gentleman in Florida that makes this for us. He also has um, one that he just recently started. It's got some herbs in it, very pure, for, for your mouth. So you put a little bit of um, yeah. coconut oil in with two or three pumps of this, and you swish it around, and you hold it, and you don't ever spit coconut oil down your drain because no, it, will, it, clog your drain. it will clog it. So you have to spit that into a waste basket. But I have a question. Yeah. I always get confused between the difference of this and this. This one has a tooth. No, but what's this in one it? Doesn't. What's in it that's different? This has three herbs in it. I see. It has. I, I don't didn't write them down. I can't remember, but I have it on the website, so you can always look on the website. And okay. by the way, we have a soft launch of our new website because we're still working a few bugs out. <coughs> if you haven't visited us, expansions.com lately. Check us out. Is it up there? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, I didn't even know. I know you were traveling. Mm -hmm. I've been busy working on that. So anyway, we have um, the, the large size and the small size. This is the travel. You can't take this one on an airplane on your travel bag. It's too big. It's four ounces. This is two ounces. So um, and we have this, and then we also have this one, a big one, and a small one. Oh, that comes in a small too? Yeah. Oh. 
So anyway, olive gold, and we love it, and we use it a lot. Mm -hmm. We don't need it, no. but we use it anyway. And when right now where it's really cold and dry, mm -hmm. I use the olive gold. I keep a cup, bottle on my countertop, and when I pass by, I just put some on my face and my hands because it's so dry. I put here. it all over. All over. All over. All over you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Just wanted to clarify. Yeah. So we have that. I and might then, demonstrate that at the class if and, that's an incentive. And yeah. then, and what's your next event in April in Poland? Well, I haven't told you yet, but there's something in March, but we haven't discussed it. Well, you better not tell me here. I so, might not like it. You won't. Ooh, it's time for me to go. April is Poland, and June we have. Well, 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 is. Wausau Conference, Exposing the Truth Conference. With in Law, April. In, in April in Wausau, Poland with Laura Eisenhower, myself and others. And then I drive again like I always do to Berlin mm -hmm. and I do something there. Do I know anything about that yet? I don't even know that, but I'm supposed to go to Berlin. We'll find out. Mm -hmm. And then in June we have the... Uh, Health and Healing, Clear Energy Health and Healing Tour to the northern part of, the, of the Piedmonts in right. Italy. Uh -huh. We did that last year. It was amazing. Right. So everybody wanted me to do it again, so we're doing it again. Mm -hmm. And, of course, my family's there, so I'm excited about that. Do we call them, uh, like, li or la? I don't know. Il? I think they would think that was yeah. kind of silly. Yeah. So, yeah. so, anything else we have to tell them? Probably. Webinars? Oh yeah, we have the self-healing group webinars that are coming up, mm -hmm. membership, like our Facebook pages, mm -hmm. anything else. We have mm -hmm. Spanish webinars coming up. Oh yes, uh, end of January and beginning of February yeah. for our Spanish-speaking uh, listeners and, and, and readers. readers. Yeah, so if you're interested in having some information come to you in Spanish, check out the website for that. We actually broadcast from Spain and, and here. And here. All right, so with that said, thank you very much for joining us. And yes. we will see you again um, next week. We'll be in the middle of our class, so oh, it might be so pretty short. Yeah. It'll be very short. Yeah. But we will at least tell you hello and let you know how it's going and what you're missing. Right. And you will be missing a lot if you're not here. That's it. We'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.